and welcome to Math Molecules. In this tutorial, we would be covering how to attempt online tests on Google Forms. It is meant for students or examinees taking online tests on Google Forms. This tutorial covers how to answer multiple choice questions, short answers, long answers, and also upload your answers in the form of files on Google Forms. Let's see how can we do this. The first step is to access the Google Forms link. A link like this would be given to the students on WhatsApp or Skype or any learning platforms like Google Meet, Zoom. It could be any learning platform what you use. Click on the given link. It automatically takes you to the Google Forms page. As we see here, we have got the Google Forms page. Fill in the required information. As here it asks for the email ID. I'm giving my email ID here. Then your name. And then you can go ahead and attend the test. The first question is of the short answer type. You can see there's only one line given here. So it is of the short answer type. So I can go ahead and type in the answer here. Moving on to the second question, we see it is of the multiple choice type. Choose the correct option. Just click on the correct option. The third question, as we see here, is of long answer type. We have plenty of space to type our answers. So I can go ahead and solve this question. Step by step, here as I'm a max teacher, I have given mathematical questions, but English, science, social, any of the subjects, they can use the space to type in their answer. There is plenty of space to cover the long answer type questions. The final question shows the option of adding file. Here, what the students have to do is write the answers in a separate paper or a notebook and take the picture of it and upload it. They can also scan the and put it as a document. Scan the answer, scan the script and put it as a document here. Let's see how we can add it as a file. So I have already taken the photo and scanned it as a PDF and I'm going to select this. It is already available on my computer. I've saved it on my computer. So I'm going and selecting this. I have saved it here as question four and then I upload the file. Click on upload. If you have more files, you can click on add more files. If there are more pages, you can do that. And finally, click on submit. And it says your response has been submitted. So it is very simple and easy to attempt online tests on Google Forms. If you are a teacher and you would like to create online tests using Google Forms, please find the link for the video in the description. Also, if you would like to know how to scan the document or pages and save it as PDF using mobile application scanners, the same is available in the description box. Thank you so much for watching Math Molecules.